Here's a quick guide to using G plus as a, a social space, uh, maybe for a community, for example. So you can see here I am already logged in to Google Plus. You can tell that because of the top right hand side, my account shows up on my profile. So once I've logged in, what I'm then going to do is to come here to communities. And these are communities that I either am a member of or that I moderate. And we're going to have a look at this community here, the We're Here Know How community. Now, if I just scroll down, it may look at first as though you've just got lots and lots of random things going on. But in fact, a Google Plus community shows you by default the latest posts. And if there's any discussion or additional things that uh, you've missed and you haven't read yet, they're going to turn up here as little notifications by the bell at the top right hand side. Now, the posts are actually classified or they're categorized and they're categorized according to a set of categories that the moderator has set up. So at the moment, as you can see, you're seeing all posts with the latest one having been made just four days or three days ago. That's that was showing at the top here. You can see at the top right, as well as additional buttons to work with this or to explo explode just that one uh, post, you've got the time of posting showing up at the top. So five days ago, six days ago, a week ago, etc. Now, if I use the filters here on the left, what can happen here is I can just pull out the ones I want to look at to do with research. And again, by default, it's showing me them in terms of the most recent posts. So the most recent was um, five days ago. And again, older ones three weeks ago are shown up below that. So these are important navigation tools really to find your way through the community. These filters here on the left hand side and by selecting those I can quickly find my way into the things I may be interested in. All posts will combine everything and make it available but again in chronological order. And at the top right hand side that little bell sign there is for notifications of um, any conversations that are happening around the posts. Uh, and what will happen is if you if you expand one particular post that you're interested in, so I do that by clicking here, then any subsequent activity around that post will show beneath it. Um, so any comments or any plus ones where people have shared it elsewhere will show beneath that post. And then if I use the back button here, I can come back into the community. So I hope that helps you find your way around a G plus community. They're very vibrant places to be in and it's very easy to share what you've got uh, within your community uh, beyond that if you wish to, either by using the plus one button or by using the share icon here, which will give you a choice of different ways for sharing and taking that message beyond the community if that's appropriate to do so. So have fun and explore your G Plus community. They're very simple and easy to set up and visually very attractive.